are back in a new truck and it honestly feels really awkward like i was not expecting to hop in this truck and be like man this feels weird because i've been driving a 21 silverado for the past year a month ago right and since then i've been driving my 2006 which i have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed and i'm gonna have a little comparison video because i know sometimes in life you choose or you don't choose you got a new truck sometimes you got to get rid of it sometimes you choose to get rid of it go back to an old one i think that'd be a good comparison video because honestly without spilling too much tea for that video there's a lot of perks to the old truck versus the new truck that's for sure there's definitely a few things that i hop in here and i am like immediately man i kind of missed that apple carplay of course that's nice always could swap out the head unit but it's nice having a factory set up like this uh, the 10 speed transmission if someone's got a conversion kit to put a 10 speed in an old truck let me know because i think a 10 speed in my old truck would pretty much make it perfect um but other than that man i'll save all that for the other video but um, I will say this, I feel like I'm sitting on top of this truck. This truck and chopper are pretty much the same height exterior wise, like the bed and everything. But I feel so awkward in here right now. I feel like I'm on top of this truck. I will also admit to the people that have commented in the past saying that the seats in the new Silverados are hard. And I even rebuttaled a couple of y'all saying, oh, my 21 seats are not hard, which I don't know if my seats are different than these. But coming from my 06 to in here, I have to correct myself. These mugs are hard as a brick. They're honestly super hard. And I, I don't know why I didn't. My 18 Silverado had comfy seats, but they were cloth. My 21 Silverado, I never really felt like they were hard. But as I sit in this one compared to my 06 that I'm used to driving now, these mugs is hard as a rock, dude. So yeah, I take it back. I apologize. I'm sorry. So yeah, be sure to comment down below and let me know what size wheels and tires you think we should put on this truck because he's about ready to buy some. And he's always liked the super aggressive, mean stance look that I've ran on my trucks, but he doesn't want to go quite as wide. And he also likes the taller tire look. So I'm thinking he should go with like a 22 by 10, negative 19 with a 35, 12, 50, 35, 11, 50. And I don't think that should rub much at all. Um, and it should be the best of both worlds should stick outside the fender wells like a half an inch to an inch so you got that aggressive looking stance but it's not out far enough to where you can't run the 35 because like i said he likes that taller look to fill in the fender wells so i think that's the best route 20 by 10 or a 22 by 10 these trucks are so big i think a 22 looks like a 20 on them um, these are obviously 18s from the factory and uh, he's also wanting a quiet tire because the duracraps what are these goodyear wrangler yeah duratrack the duracraps they sound terrible they've just burned him on the loud tire noise um i want him to get a mud tire because i think that would look so much better obviously but he's debating not a mud tire because he does want a quiet tire because he's had forty-four thousand miles of duracraps um but i told him maybe nitto trail graps um i guess if you wanted to go with an all-terrain there's a lot of different options there but y'all comment down below what's a pretty quiet but aggressive looking mud, mud tire um because i think man you got you got to go mud grass especially being a trail boss you got to go mud tires right um but yeah like i said he's about ready to buy some so y'all comment down below give us some brands give us some names some sizes let us know give the old squish test to see how firm she is yeah we need some grease in that mug I'm honestly a little nervous to get on here and inspect everything because I told him they don't recommend him for auto, but he always runs for auto. They live on a super steep driveway and sometimes it's needed. Let's see how we're looking. Okay, good. First axle looking fine. Everything looks totally good over here. Okay, good news. So, there you go boss uh yeah that is great news right there everything looks perfectly fine so now that we got those upper ball joints greased up dude she's good as gold i've been planning for weeks to do a detail video on these getting these things back to their former glory or at least trying to i wish i'd already done that because we'd just slap them on here and let him ride on them for a while to see how he likes them see if he wants to go with the 22 by 12 and 33s or if he does want to go a little bit slimmer and taller tire it's a super good look y'all seen this truck with these wheels and tires on there but i don't know i kind of wish i could just let him ride out on it and see what he thinks but can't really do that at the moment because these things look 
repairable and hopefully very soon I'm going to be able to do the detail video bringing them back to life. Before I tell you, can anyone spot why he doesn't want to run a big wide wheel? Do you see it? Do you see why? So several people in our family drive his truck, his son, his wife, me, who have routes, and um, so it gets driven with a lot of different driving habits. And as you can tell, somebody has put it on a curb. And if this had big wheels on it, they would be, uh, they'd be toast. Because that is, <laughs> that's pretty bad. For a front tire, that's pretty daggum bad. On a stock truck, yikes, somebody, somebody got that thing. Here's one thing I haven't missed. <laughs> Here's one thing that I have missed though. It's not, it's not even the engine, dude. It's just the transmission. You know, mud graps are always pretty loud, but I've always said wet pavement, mud graps are just next level. These things are screaming. Boy, that thing wild. truck then this you know possibilities are opened up a little bit more to things I can do with this um, speaking about this truck uh, the next video or two that you're gonna see on it it's probably gonna blow your mind and leave you speechless like I am in those videos and know it's not like hey I got a 20 inch lift or hey I got $15,000 wheels it's like a, I'm not gonna spoil it I'm just gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all see also an update on the Larry headliner video ran into some issues with the adhesive not really working like I predicted it to um, running out of it and then having to get a new product which was actually a lot I think a lot better and I got it all glued down it's just kind of dry and then I got to get it all back together but I'm honestly really curious to see if anyone actually is still watching at this point because I know this video has been all over the place sporadic and I know it's hard to maintain viewership on an entire video that is like this so if you are still watching for one i want to say personally thank you because you are a true one that keeps this channel going by watching the videos all the way through but i also want to leave i want you to leave some in the comments do um do 
some kind of emoji, any kind of emoji, because that's something that people don't usually leave. Just leave any kind of emoji in the comment section, and I'm going to be sure to go through there and heart all of them, because that means that you were watching all the way to the end, and I really appreciate that. Anyways, enough rambling. The video's long enough. Hopefully you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know.